This guy is in a safe zone, and he just got water piped in the face. But you can't kill in a safe zone, right? Yeah, what, what happened Yo, what to your happened? friend? Well, there's actually one exception. Today we're talking the top five grub tactics to use in safe zones. The whole server will hate you. You're so terrible. You are so terrible. Your parents might disown you. Pack your bags! But if you use these tips, you will be a rich little loot goblin. The outpost safe zone stretches in a rectangle around the main compound. There's plenty of barrels and road signs inside, making it a hot spot for component farmers. But there are two power stations that just so happen to dissect the safe zone boundaries. Camping here with an Eoka or double barrel can net you some incredible profit as you'll catch most farmers off guard. You'll also be covered from the turrets to wait out your 60 second timer. Just make sure to kill them outside the safe zone. If you shoot them inside or get hit by turrets, your timer will jump to 5 minutes, allowing players to counter. Yeah, this is me. There's two approaches to baiting players. The first is to frighten a player near the edge of the safe zone. If they attack you, the turrets will kill them. Uh, thanks for the loot, buddy. The second and more devious is to incentivize a player outside the safe zone with, say, the promise of a free base. I'll take it. Get a two by one, bro. Once convinced, draw them past your hidden teammate who can safely kill them from cover. And yes, I am an asshole, and yes, it is so much fun. No way. No way. <laughs> <laughs> 750 scrap. 750 scrap. Oh my god, you gotta be, you gotta message him in chat. <laughs> You've probably learned by now that players can push you off the recycler. Well, you can actually use the same method to walk an AFK player out of the safe zone. Now, the closer a player is to the edge, the better, as it takes some time to push them. You can do this as a solo, but it's much easier with a friend. Once they're outside, have your friend kill and die to the turrets while you loot. But you can also do this at Fishing Village and drown your victim. You won't get any loot, but you just like watching the world burn, huh? The outpost train lift can be one of the most chaotic grub hotspots. This is because it's a choke point for geared players and has no guards or turrets. The safe zone also disappears as you descend, making anything in the lift lootable below the top two platforms. One of the most inventive strategies is to buy grenades at Bandit or with a drone and wait near the top of the lift. Once players start ascending, toss a couple frags and loot the bodies. Down the elevator. Jump in the loot him, jump in the loot him, quick. There's a guy a guy above you, just get it wherever you can. Woo, baby, let's go. <laughs> Finally, we get to the moment you've been waiting for. Players are unkillable in safe zones, barring this one exception. If a player has a combat timer, you can kill them. And you're probably thinking, bodies aren't lootable in safe zones, and the turrets will kill them anyway. And in 90% of cases you're right, but if they take the outpost train lift, there are no turrets. While their body is untouchable, whatever is in their hands is fair play. If you run below the safe zone, you can equip a weapon and re-enter before a player's combat timer is up. You want to know something really funny about these safe zones? You know how you're like shooting before? Yeah, so basically you're gonna die. And lastly, f*** them. Sometimes grubbing isn't about the loot. <laughs> I got him. People are hardwired to think they're unkillable in safe zones. When you shatter that childish illusion, you take more than their loot. Side note, this is a joke. Rust is already toxic enough. Now, if you're using these tips, it's probably because you're poor. Click here to find out how to stop 95% of online and offline raids. 